Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So I have x to the power of 3 minus x squared is equal to 100. And I want to find the value of x. So, for my solution, first start with x to the power of 3 minus x squared is equal to 100. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 100 on both sides. So then these two will cancel out on my right hand side so I'll be left with x to the power of 3 minus x squared minus 100 is equal to zero. Now I can actually rewrite this. So now I have x to the power of 3 and I'm going to rewrite negative x squared as 4x squared minus 5x squared because 4x squared minus 5x squared is equal to negative x squared. And now I'm going to also add in positive 20x minus 20x because these two simply will cancel out. So these will make a difference. And then I have my minus 100 at the end. And you'll see why I did all of this in a minute. But let's continue. So now I'm actually going to reorder this. I'm going to put this as x to the power of 3 plus 4x squared and I'm going to put plus 20x. And then I have negative 5x squared minus 20x minus 100. This is equal to 0. Now, from here, what is the greatest common factor of x to the power of 3 plus 4x plus 20x? That would be x, right? So now I have x times x squared plus 4x plus 20. And then I have this. Now I have minus 5 times x squared plus 4x plus 20. And this is equal to 0. So the reason I did all of that, the reason I added 4x squared minus 4x squared plus 20x minus 20x, was so that both of these could have the greatest common factor and factor out to the same. They both have x squared plus 4x plus 20. And now, if I factor out x squared plus 4x plus 20, I get x squared plus 4x plus 20 times x minus 5 is equal to 0. So now, this gives me two equations. I have x minus 5 is equal to 0. And I also have x squared plus 4x plus 20 is equal to 0. So for x minus 5 equals 0, this is actually really simple. All I have to do for this is just add 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. Now I'll be left with x is equal to 0 plus 5 is 5. Now, for x squared plus 4x plus 20 equals 0, what I'm going to be using is the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula, if you guys already know, is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 4, and c is equal to 20, because as you can see, the coefficients in front of these are as follows, 1, 4, 20. So now, all I have to do is substitute in a, b, and c into our quadratic formula. So now I have x is equal to negative b, so negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 20. Now I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 1. 
Now if x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 is 4. So 4 times 20 all over 2 times 1, which is 2. And now I have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 times 20 is 80 all over 2. And then now I have negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 80. That is going to be 64 or sorry, negative 64 over 2. And now, actually, as you see, we have the square root of your negative number. And I know a lot of you guys watching this video probably think that that's not possible, but that's where i comes into play, the imaginary number i. And the imaginary number i, this is actually equal to the square root of negative 1. And we can actually use this to figure out a solution to this. So first off, I have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 64. I'm going to rewrite as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of negative six, or the square root of positive 64 over 2. Now remember how we said i was equal to square root of negative 1. So now I have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 64i over 2. Now, the square root of 64, this is equal to 8, right? So now I have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 8i. And now I have this over 2. So now if I, have, if I had something in the form a plus b over c, this is the same thing as a over c plus b over c. So in this case, I have negative 4 plus or minus ai over 2. Well, first off, I'm going to put this as negative 4 plus ai over 2 and negative 4 minus ai over 2 because these are two solutions. Now, negative 4 plus 8i over 2, this is equal to negative 4 over 2 plus 8i over 2. And this is equal to negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2 plus 8i over 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4, so I have 4i. So this is one solution. And for this one, I have negative 4 over 2 minus 8i over 2. negative 4 over 2, that is going to be negative 2, minus ai over 2 is going to be 4i. So I have negative 2 plus 4i and negative 2 minus 4i, and we can't forget x equals 5 as well. So 5 is also another solution. So these are my three solutions to this problem. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now, because I have so many 4 to the power of x's on my left hand side, I'm simply, simply going to factor out 4 to the power of x. So now I have 4 to the power of x times. Now 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x is 1 because anything divided by itself is 1. So I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And this is equal to 1. Now I want to simplify what's in the parentheses. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is simply 4. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1. Now I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by four. So then these two would cancel out and I would be left with four to the power of x is equal to one over four. So now if I have something 
So let's say we have a to the power of negative one, right? This is equal to one over a. So in this case, we have one over four, and we can think of four as a. So one over four, this is the same thing as four to the power of negative one. So now I four to the power of x is equal to four to the power of negative one. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, then this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, m is x and n is negative one. So x is equal to negative one. So negative one is our answer.